Hello, you guys. Hi. Oh I'm my so gosh. Excited. Look at us filming a horizontal video. I know, it's crazy. Usually we're like on our iPhones, like doing like up my right here. So I know, I love it. it. Kelly's filming time lapse. lapse. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with one of my very best friends, Miss mm. Kelly Ann. So excited. Um, we are going to be doing a little chit chat, get ready with me. I love doing these on my channel. Um, and what an honor it is to have Miss Makeup X K A herself. No, oh, I'm so excited though. I feel like I didn't know you were doing. Are you doing a day in the life or no? I am, but this is just its own this video. Is be yeah. This oh. is gonna be long, so yeah, okay. this is its own video. It'll be fun. We'll do like a chit chat. We haven't seen each other since what, like five years, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Being dramatic, but I haven't seen her since before Nashville, before Paris. Paris. So we have a lot to catch up on. And I feel like you went to South Carolina. You went to Charleston. Oh yeah, I, I, I was in Charleston. So it's just been like, I really, I can't even pinpoint when we saw each other last. It's gonna be chit chat. So. We're gonna talk about products, makeup, yeah. people. We She put a question box on her Insta. Yes. Oh wait, well, we're doing a time lapse, but we'll, yeah. we'll No, 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 I got my other phone. <laughs> oh right, <laughs> we got I have one phones. of those two phones I'm this type of girl. I got two. two. Phones. Phones. Yes. So we'll do the questions, but I feel like we're just gonna catch up. Yeah. We're and then do like a little look because you're going to the John Mayer concert. Yes. I was like, Kelly, you need to like plan a date or something. I'm gonna feel so bad yeah. when I leave you. No, <laughs> Lane, well, you know what? I told Lane and I was like, I'm getting my makeup done. And he was like, I was like, do you wanna like go out to dinner? He's like, what about Chipotle? <laughs> so I'll be in my boy. at Chipotle. <laughs> what about Chipotle? That, if that isn't our boyfriends. Yeah. That's, That's too good. Yeah. Wow. Well, Feminine we're really shot. excited. Um, also, I do have to hype, hype up Kelly really quick because she <laughs> scared. has recently launched her platform. Ah! And it is literally the best thing ever. Like, I don't think you guys understand. Like, when you sign up, you go on, and there are all these amazing high freaking quality videos Thank you. with tutorials. And yep. Long what did format. you drop today? The bridesmaids tutorial? Today or? was long wear event makeup. Long wear event makeup. Which I feel like is. I didn't realize how much of a necessity it was till I launched my old one. It was called Bridesmaids because it was in the middle of COVID weddings, yeah. which I don't want to say that word, but, and everyone was doing their own makeup and everyone was like, how do I do makeup that lasts forever? Cause when you get ready to be a bridesmaid, it's like 11 to 11. Yeah. And I came out with that video and then everyone was like wearing it to, like, I remember this one DM, this girl was like, I wore it to an LSU tailgate and it poured raining and I wore it for literally eight hours through the rain and it did not budge. Like, it's like that type of makeup where it looks good oh in gosh. pictures, looks good in person. But it's just good event makeup. Yeah, you want so, it to look good in person too. I feel like that's the big thing. In part, yeah, you don't want to look like a little cake face. Yeah, no, that's not fun being no. cakey. Like it's just not it. Everyone, you know. Yeah, you do so what you can. We'll do like maybe a little rendition of it tonight. Oh. But you like like you know glowy every day. Yeah. So you're gonna show me her products too, which I feel like we have the same products though. Yeah. At this point. Yeah, I have a lot of products. Most of these products, you guys will see. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of like I learned a lot of skin prep from Kelly, which is really important. Like now I don't even use primer. I just like prep my Same. skin. Because I'm using that. <gasps> it's my new obsession. Oh Merit. my god, Merit Beauty. It's Merit Great Skin. Okay, I used to be scared of this product, but I want you to try it today. It because it's brown, you know, because it kind of looks kind of yeah. Like, I think it looks uses luxe. it. Great skin. But you have to shake it. But anyways, Does it feels it like silk. No, it feels like silk on your skin. Oh. It, are you sensitive skin or no? No. Okay, it's clean anyway, so it's kind of splatty though. So watch out. Awesome. <laughs> I, told, oh I literally warned myself. Okay, take a little, and it's gonna feel like nothing at first, but rub it between your hands, and then start pressing it on. So it feels watery, it's like meh, 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 whatever. Ooh. And then as you start working it in, like it it literally feels like liquid silk, and I need you to, to wow. back me up here. Just, wow. Do you kind of feel it though? Oh my gosh, my skin like looks it, so good. I forgot there's a mirror. We literally put a mirror behind this, yeah. and I'm still looking in the camera. But do you like, feel the softness? Yes, it's, so, it's very, it's not sticky at all. No. It's completely it gliding. Gets, it gets really like silky. Because I think I compare it to the Ella Luz oil. Where yes. that one's really kind of not sticky, but it's thick. It, and this thick, one's yeah. like softer. This one's really good. I feel like I look really, really glowy. I love Merit because it's clean beauty. Yeah, same. And that just makes me feel good. Um, it's definitely a completely different texture than the, um, or consistency, I yes. guess, than the old loose. Me trying to use makeup words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, also, I've been wanting that ring thing so bad. You literally need it. I know, it's so pretty. It's the what Senia, ring is it? Senia, but they have it on Revolve now, too. Oh. It's a double, it's literally two rings in one. It's like $200, but I was like, it's two rings. I brought my own hair clip. Oh my gosh, Kelly. And mine are gold. And mine are gold. I completely forgot to put mine in. I know, sorry, I should have brought some for you, but I, uh. Oh, no, I can only find two. I have so many. But they yes. have some sparkle. Okay, I thought I was fancy with gold. You come out and one-up me with diamonds. 
You're like, well, <laughs> I thought yours were these. Slovarski. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, not, I don't know where these are from. This Those are so fun. Makeup artist, it's not Kelly, in Atlanta, um, Chandler, she, mm. like, we were obsessed with them. Yes. When she put them on us for the live shows, so she brought us some for the second show, which was really, really nice. Y'all's makeup looks so good at the live shows. Thanks. All the on the on the road makeup on the road. artists. On the road, on the road. Baby. Um, so what should we do now? Eye cream? Oh, brows. brows. Oh, yeah, you can do eye cream. I had on a, some moisturizer. Under okay, there. I'm using Sunday Riot Autocorrect Eye Cream. I I'm also use, though, and I talk about my vlogs all the time, and I literally bring you up every time, the niacinamide, like, the First Aid Beauty. Oh, my God, the Fab one. Because it's glowy really one. glowy. Yeah. Um, but the only thing I don't like about it, it's in a pot. And oh, really, girl, it's sticky. I really like how the Sunday Riot one, I can just. That's true. I don't really know what eye cream does, but I just do it. I you know? feel like it's like I actually used to say this with my mom. I remember one time my mom trolled me, which my mom often is my number one troll. Like I'll do something and she's like, Kelly, that doesn't look or something. It's never like mean, it's just like a lot. But I remember I talked about eye cream and I was like, I don't think it does anything over time. Do you think eye cream does anything over time? Oh, your mom said that? No, I, I don't oh, think oh, that. Oh. I do. No, I've never been like my under eyes no. are looking great lately. But I think if you're gonna wear makeup, it helps hydrate and yes. plump. Like it like does good for things like for your the, eyes. For a night. For the night. <laughs> oh. I'm your eye cream for the night. <laughs> yes. You guys don't I love like that. Me. It's the best. But, um, but yeah, yeah, Kelly always uses this on me, the dewy cream, and I it's really love it. So good. Probably, like third one. It makes you like really glowy. I right? Re yeah, really glowy. I like the way it smells. Me too. It's like um, a spa. Did you do eyebrows? I feel like we're on different. Did you no, I literally, okay, wait, I, wait. I always do the brows first because of little, because you know, when you're doing your foundation and the well, crust, you know, crust. Yeah, it like moves your foundation. So this is the tip from Kelly. I literally have the exact same product, the Honestasia Girl. Brow Freeze. Oh, wait. And then, <laughs> and then do you just take it on? I've just been doing this yeah. and then putting it on my oh, hand. Oh, yours looks like it's drying up. Why? Why? Do you leave the cap off? No. Yeah, I feel like that's not very... That's oh, you're supposed to leave the cap no, off? No, no, no. I was I was about to say if you do, sometimes it'll dry, but then I was going to counter it and say that wouldn't be very Danielle of you oh. to leave a cap off. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I don't know. It could just be kind of old. Maybe you're working through it. This slow. is new. No, because my old one like started to get these really weird balls in it, and I was like, that's... So we threw that away. I don't know if my apartment's too hot, too cold. Like, are you comfortable in here right now, Kelly? <laughs> I, like, I don't me. even know. Wait, that kind of reminded me of... Didn't it, this mirror shatter? What did no. people say about that? It <gasps> was that mirror, one. It was that one, guys. Did people was, say it was a ghost? Oh my god, everyone's like, you need to move right away. I was like, guys, it's like really scary right now. Like, I can't break my lease, thanks though. No, the... that was so scary. No, that was because my lovely super, he, when he was hanging up the mirror, left the door open, my balcony door open because he was hot and he also turned off the AC because yeah. he was hot or the heat because he was hot, but How then like you know left my apartment. Because when I came back, my door was open and the AC was off, and I've been gone for some. Weird flex. Weird flex to do as a super. Yeah, I know. And so I texted him. He was like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I was so hot." And I mean, obviously, I wanted him to be comfortable, but I was like, yeah. you know, just next time, like, could you close the balcony door? He felt really bad. But so that's what happens. When I came back, my apartment was literally 40 degrees. I'm shivering. Aww. Shiver me timbers. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> and um. I put the heat on right away, and so I think by by the morning, the heat had basically affected the mirror from being so cold and so hot. That's what everyone's saying. And there also was probably a micro crack in the mirror. And that's what I'm trying to tell the company right now, and they're just... just... Wait, did the super hung the mirror? That was why he was in there? Yeah. What do you, you don't think he cracked it? Well, I don't know. You said you came in and didn't well, he... see it that night, but I feel like you probably weren't... Turning. I was seeing triple. I was oh, <laughs> seeing double. <laughs> no, no, I was. Um, it just seems questionable. But you no. said you came back and it wasn't cracked. Yeah, no, that. he he felt really bad. He like grabbed my mirror and was like, "Oh my god, like I'm gonna come look at it, whatever." But okay, what's next? Foundation. Mm -hmm. Wait, have you been using this? Yes, I don't know. You've been using it. My I haven't really been using now. it, but I wanted to. I wanted to use it today. Oh, because well, I haven't really been using this it. This works out. I feel like my spray tan's coming. Well, we'll just I'm see. so yeah. pale. I'm just gonna draw on a color on my neck today, but that's okay. So, oh, like you, pull it down. I like this. I really. I. I actually was at Sephora the other day. This is the makeup by Mario Foundation. I don't think Surreal there's any skin. other. Surreal skin. Duh. And it is lovely. It's very similar to the Armani. Well, I'm gonna use a little. I have this random. It's not necessarily the best. It's like the a bare hell minerals. Is that? <laughs> it's so random. What is that? It's a concealer. Oh, 
but oh. I just like use it around my nose, you know? It's like darker. To like spot treat. Yeah, I don't know. I'm darker? Not... Well, it's not darker, it's darker. It's your skin. It's not under, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Wait, smart. so, Kelly just went to Paris. Paris, bonjour. Bonjour, oui, oui. Bonjour, bonsoir. Oh Bonsoir, Ashante. Do you know that's what wrong? is Ashante? That means nice to meet you, I believe. Oh, Don't come cute. for me. Or like pleasure to meet you. Yeah, like a, a greeting. Bonsoir means uh, good night. Right? No, good afternoon oh. after 5 p.m. Bonut means good night. Oh, bonut. Uh -huh. Is that how they say it? I always thought it was bon nuit. If that's not it. Honestly, you could be right. Like I don't know. I no. went around. I someone asked me in my Q and A. I'm doing concealer. Me too. Oh, Maybelline. <laughs> I love Maybelline. This is Major someone. Mind. I think Kit posted about this the other day, and I was like, I used to use this all the no, time. It's so good. I, I just love I'm, the sponge. I think I'm using. Oh no, this is mine. What concealer um, is that? The creamy. Creme brulee. Yeah. I've been just looking have that. And oh. I, I oh. don't know. I I don't know. I think oh. I just love. I okay. You know what I'm gonna learn to do right now hmm. is what you're doing on your nose. <laughs> Just so people well. always put like I see like Alex Earl and like all the get ready with me TikToks and I obviously yeah. always see you do it where you like put concealer in places that aren't your under eyes. Yes. So you're putting it on your. I mean, it's just you know how like think about where we do contour and then do the inverse with concealer. Oh, geez. because <laughs> it's kind of like you're just playing with shadows and lightness. Or Shadows and light, down. or dark and light. Yeah, but mm, mm. <laughs> she did it wrong. Mm. No, you're doing good. I, I, I wouldn't go all the oh, way. Oh, like down. to the bridge, just because you put like highlight typically, there. Because well, typically your nose turns up a little bit, and not everyone wants their nose to turn up. But if you pull it down all the way to the tip, it's gonna bring your nose down. Like oh, this. so you want to like deceive. Squidward vibes. <laughs> Squidward. Squidward tentacles. Squid <laughs> but um, no, I was just saying about Paris that some people. In my Q and A, we're like, um, were the people mean? Like, did you learn the language? Were you intimidated? And all those types of questions. And one, everyone was really freaking nice. Like, oh, I'm I maybe, so glad to hear that. I maybe had one or two kind of just short-tempered people, but my family and I really tried because I feel like this is just one common decency. And two, when you go to another country, like, try to learn. Just yeah, the language, even if it's like always say hello, always say thank you, like and try to talk in the language because I feel like it just shows respect because it'd be like someone getting in your car and like not even trying to say hello in English. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? And so we were trying to do stuff like that, but my parents and I were laughing because we're like, I think we've gotten good because we started getting French menus. So like Shut typically up. when you sit down and you're like, bonjour, like they'll they'll be like Americans, so they'll like give you give English American menus thing. or whatever, or talk in English. And by the end of the trip, like they'd be like, Bonjour, blah, 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 and we're like, they think we're French. Yeah, so that was exciting. But it honestly was just amazing being in a different culture. I really, as I've gotten, uh, become an adult, I feel yeah. like I soaked that shit up. I'm like, this is so cool. Like I just observed. You that know? is, that's really cool. Yeah. What are you doing now? I'm I just need to start doing that. Okay, setting. I'm, what? Like, cause you use cream products, right? So you don't put powder all over your face because you want to like do contour and stuff. So yeah. you just use that and like do under your eyes and yeah, stuff. Yeah, this is just a brush. I'm just blending out my concealer. I haven't powdered. Oh, I oh, blended oh, out my oh. concealer and I left the nose. That's what I was gonna tell you, oh, leave the mm. nose. You missed it. You could always reapply, but that's okay. That's a lot of nose that's, makeup. Okay, yeah. Right? Maybe next time. It's okay. We'll get it on okay. the next try. What about cream contour? Wait, what? You're, you're going powder. No, that's what I was asking you. No, it's, Not there it's, yet. it's closed. We're closing We're the closed. shell. Closed for business. No, this is the cream. Well, actually, I do two things recently. Oh, match Well, this is obviously what Kelly made me buy, and I am so happy. It's so good. The, but I haven't been using it as much anymore. Oh, really? I'm like upset. I like uh, the consistency. Why I also, not? Just for fun. I just like I changed it. it up, but also I hit pan. I hit pan. I've never really hit pan. Yeah. It's, oh, a, it's a badge wow. of honor. Yeah. That is so crazy. Brooke and I are talking about that. Like, no one ever hits pan anymore because, no. of, like, we just are constantly trying products. Yeah, for consumption. Set. Guess what I'm on? Oh, really? The most basic of basic. Sounds of the city. <laughs> Woo! Um, most basic of basic, but it's so good. Wow. Or, or the last thing, Westman Atelier. Love. Oh, is that like a stick? Kind yeah, of? exactly. Are you sticking it? I do, and then I do the Chanel over top. Oh my god, I oh. didn't do this and then stick over top. Oh my god. Well, what? I'm gonna watch your placement. Well, maybe I shouldn't okay. for this. Well, but is it supposed to be above or under your like so, line? There's a lot of debate right now. Oh. 
not a lot of debate, but I think makeup artists, everyone does it differently, and I think it's just a reminder that everyone's makeup is just personal. Because I had a friend, Colby, who came on, who's a very amazing makeup artist in the city. He does, like, Billie Eilish, like, big, big people. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I'm so over people putting their contour above their line. He was like, no, put it in your hollows. And I was like, oh, my God, I disagree so much. She's respectfully. Yeah, yeah. But only because I, like... Be, to like, lift. Yeah, because like anywhere you put darkness is creating a shadow. So if I naturally have a shadow right here, if I kind of can lift the shadow a little bit, it gives the appearance that your cheekbones are lifted. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of enhancing a dark shadow down here and bringing yeah. the shadow down. But that's just me personally. So it also, it depends on the type of product you're using. That product is more of a sculpting product because of the, the, the thickness of the cream. Right. It's not really going to blur. This one's going to disperse more because it's a liquid. True. So, so I do it like right above the line? Yeah, I would do it right above. So when you're using cream products like Daniela's, I think placement and starting small is a little bit more of a thing. So like start small and build. I wouldn't draw lines all over your face. I'd do like a little line, blend it out, and see the shape it's giving your face. When you're using a more liquidy product because it disperses more. True, that makes sense. Placement is more as specific. Big. Exactly. Hmm. 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 I'm learning. It's pretty though. What color is that? Mocha. 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 Rihanna really got me at the Super Bowl. I was like, Wait. I was here. We were watching. Oh my God. Here. Yes, you were here. Yeah, that, that was, was so fun. good. That was so fun. What well, that might have, that might have been the last time I saw. No, it. that's illegal. I know, truly. So you asked me about Paris. I want to know about Nashville. Are you moving? I don't know why. I just keep <laughs> everyone asking you if you're says moving. This. I know. Um, you're no, like, no. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to work so much. It's so funny. Like when I went to like Florida this last time. I was like posting that I was happy to be there, whatever. And everyone's like, oh my gosh, you You're just moving. like seem so much happier in Tampa. Ew, like when I are you gonna move back? And I'm like, do you, don't you guys know how long I've wanted to move in New York? Yeah. To New York? New York's just cold right now. And like now is the season of traveling from New York. Yeah, no one wants to be in New York. No. But like every New Yorker knows that. It's not like a diss at the city. No. From what I'm learning, it's like a, yeah, get out while you can because this is miserable. Yeah, I used to think February was the worst month in New York. Mm -hmm. And I think it's March. It's March. It's March because it's supposed to be spring. Yeah, and it's it, but, it's, but it's raining because yep. of it's spring, and then you're like, ew, it's cold and rainy, yep. and then all the things. Um, okay, I like how that turned out. So now I'm gonna use this Chanel Less Beige. This is still the same one I bought when I was with you. It's good. It's probably mm -hmm. out of no. expired 12M. Um, you taught us I. It's funny you said that though about Tampa because I when I go to Texas, like okay. This is what I think. When you move to a city like New York, you just find a new appreciation for where you're from in smaller, yes. smaller cities. Therefore, when I go back to Austin, I am thriving because, or not thriving, but I'm just you, like, no, you're thriving. You're like, yes. you're like, oh my God, open space, sunshine. It's uh -huh. like the little things and you're, and you're beaming. But then you're like, oh my God, I miss the city. Like I need to go back and grind. And I think I get messages too that are like, you look so much happier in Austin. I'm like, oh, you do too. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, like life's easy. Yeah, like, like, like it's a great place to yeah, be. But and I'm like, come on, it. guys. Like, we love New York. No, I know. Like, you love New York, Kelly. What, what are you talking what? about? And you love you. You had a freaking party. I love New York. No, literally. I'm like, yeah. you it. So, and and it's all coming out of being nice. But no, it, it is. is so funny. Like when I was in Nashville, too, everyone's like, are you moving? I had this realization because for a second round, I'm like, oh, we could like live here. But yeah. I think with Nashville in particular, I think I like traveling there. Like I don't want to not be able to go on Broadway and yes. like do the, like that is somewhere I would want to go and like do the touristy things and like- Oh, that's interesting. Be a cowgirl. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I, I don't, don't want to become a local there. You're no. like, I want to go to Jason Aldean bar. But then like, obviously see Shannon Ford and she loves it. She's yeah. building a house there. Yeah. And she still goes out on Broadway with like friends and stuff, but I don't know. I do not know. I know what you mean. Some places are just best left as visiting places. Mm -hmm. That's what, exactly how I feel about LA. Like I have no business wanting to move. Like no. I would never want to move there, but I'm like, I love visiting LA. So yeah, no, not moving, but love it. Like I would go biannually. Like it was so semi-annually. I don't know what you're supposed to say there. <laughs> I don't know. But Which one um, do you like more Nashville or Miami? To visit? Yeah. I mean, Miami. Duh. Yeah, because <laughs> in Nashville we were definitely kind of struggling on like what to do during the yeah, day. What do you do outside of drinking in Nashville? That's what I'm. But the, you kind of say the same thing for well, Austin. You can like go on a lake. There, is there a nature and stuff in? 
Yeah, I think so. There's like mountains and things. Um, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. You can say no. Do you have that Dior blush you always use? The highlight one? The bright pink one. Mm, no. I really want to try that, but this looks kind of- Wait, we're no, moving not. to powders? I don't- Did you set your face? Blush. What, what about cream blush? Borrow some mine. Yeah, can I? Yeah. Um, okay. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Do you like this one? I don't have you a hate cream it? blush brush. Oh my god, I almost bought it the other day. Okay, it's pretty but controversial. Oh, this is controversial. Ooh. Give me your hand. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> I know it's just- Oh, that's gorgeous. Gorgina. Dibs. Gorgina. And then- Oh, you're mixing it together? So what's this, the Kosas it's what? the Kosas Glow IV, which it's very, very, very pigmented, so you've got to be a little careful. The glow? Yeah, but like, it's going to make the glowyish, prettyish oh blush. You're like a, well, you are an artist, but you know what I mean. I'm like, a little scientist. It's like, yeah, when you have like your palette and you're like yeah. blending your paint palette. Oh, Do you like so pinky cheeks? Pink. I love pinky cheeks. Pink me up. That's so pretty. I feel like you can't really see the um, glow right now. Oh my gosh, I can but see it from my angle. Yeah, it's, it's like pretty. so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. That's the brush <laughs> I use for cream blush mm -hmm. too. But I washed my brushes for the first time in a long time the other day and that one is still hit? like greasy. Oh really? Yeah, after I washed my brushes, so. Thank you for doing that for me. Would you, sorry, that might be a little too much blush. No, I'm like, so I'm in my lots of blush era. Same, same. <laughs> and I'm also in my era of saying You're era. an eras girly. When is the eras eras gonna end? I don't know, I think not I think for about a while. that daily. Every time you're in a new era, I'm like, when is, when is she <laughs> non era ing? She's you always think era next year? I don't know. Or do you think you'll be in your 2024 era? <laughs> yeah, I'm in my blah, blah, blah era. It's just like so fun and like romantic. I'm just no, like a big romanticized life. No, bro. I love it. And you know what? I think I envy you because I say those things in my head, but I'm too, like, I don't oh, you don't. Like, like, I'm like, I'm in my like crypt hair. Oh, era. and so but I'm like, I, I don't want to say it. it. When people respond like, oh, like people know, like I know it's cringe, you know? Like, no, but I'm, you lean in and that's the best yes. part. Like, so that's like where we're at. And you're just living life. I'm just living that. Do you like the blush combo? I'm obsessed. Like it's really. Pretty. I guess I'll do like my powder now. Okay, gonna, now like, we laugh powder. At my powder. No, I love that. Well, no, I do too. But I literally like. I'm like my mother, and I just like do the. My mother. And I just like use the Cute. compact because I feel like it really does okay, what well, it needs to. Well, I have to. stuff basically off the black market. So. Whoa. Just kidding. I think it's only available in Korea. Oh my! Did you get it there? Yes, and when I tell you, like this needs to come to America because it is the most insane powder I've ever used in my entire life. What's the brand? It's Laneige. Oh, Wait, look at it. Oh. Doesn't it look? It just like I blurred. Like, yeah, I feel like you can't really see like in this light slash. I know, guys. We're really shadows, but the <laughs> it literally looks like a Paris filter kind of thing. Like, oh, the Instagram Paris. Wow, I like love this blush on me. Does it stay? Does it last? What the blush? Yeah, like the yeah. blush with the. I mean, head. I'll layer powder over it. Will you? Powder, powder, powder blush. blush. Yeah, yeah. Wait, we should uh, look at the questions because I feel like. Oh some yeah, because we're like cute. getting. We're, we're doing. Just, we're just out. Okay, so what questions do we have? Okay, we have good ones. Eyes. I'm trying. Look, we got some. Oh my god. Good little ones. Um. Wait a second, did you do powder blush? You did. I'm gonna catch up and then I'm just yeah. gonna put Or on. how about you do powder blush, I'll look at a yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, maybe you can find a fun one. Kelly's gonna do some powder blush. What's that? Is that? I've like never tried this blush? before. Tau Slabs, but it has glow. It's like a glowy highlight, I think. But I wanna use it as blush because oh, cool. I feel like it'll be. Oh, it's so satisfying watching you apply makeup. You just I mean, do it I in these swift motions. Swift motions. Swift motions you do. How are y'all most alike and how are y'all most different? Oh my god. Whoa. Tag. Um, I think we're very alike because not me taking it away. No, I don't. Okay. I have to think. I was just gonna say I feel like we're alike because we're both pretty grounded people. Yes. Like, I, and I think we human connection is like our soft like, spot. Our soft spot, and we also like read. I don't want to say read energy sounds really weird, but we're both very sensitive to people's like. You aura. are so right. So I feel like when we're around each other, like you, you and know I, when I'm stressed, I know. Yes, yes. and you'll we'll be like, okay, what's really going on? Like, yes. But I think that's what brought us really close originally because it was like no fringe, no bullshit. Like, no, we were just like talking about real life, not like, oh my god, it's like how's it going? 
thing? Like, yeah, oh my god. It was like, like I loved your Instagram story. Uh, yes. But I think, okay, now I'm curious to hear your differences. Cause um, I, um, yeah. Our differences? Okay, well, I'm trying to think if we have anything else like. We have lots of things like. We yeah. Have, I feel like we have similar sense of style ish. Like, yes. Um, we both gravitate towards the same things, like yes. when we're shopping Revolve. and stuff. The black, Revolve. The black turtleneck dress. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, everything. well, that I bought because of you. But that I also know, I'm like, oh, if that looks good on Kelly, like, I think it'll look good yes. on me. Like, body types. Yeah, music. I think we have very similar music Drake. taste. Yes. Drake. And then we both also like country. Like, there's, yep. We both went to, like, big college yes. school, like, football schools. Southern vibes. Southern vibes. Southern. Southern. Vibe. Southern. 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 Um, so I think that was, like, the big thing. And then we also, like... It, wait, can I say one more thing? Yeah. I think we both choose like positivity often. Yeah. Like I feel like we're both like very like, oh, this this work, like this, everything happens for a reason outlook. So I feel yeah. like we can, it's, I enjoy conversations with you because I feel like if I'm like, oh, this this bummed me out. You're like, yeah, but, but here's something else is okay. And we're good at like that with we each other. We hype each other up for yeah. sure. Like we'll listen to, to each other and then not be like, oh my god, yeah, I know. We'll, we'll, we'll like validate the feelings, yeah. but then it's like, let's like chat about it. And I mean, yeah. well, this isn't how we're most like, but one thing I do love about Kelly is because there is a little bit of an age difference sometimes, there are like these amazing advice. I'm only saying this because that discussion we had no, that one night. Of course, of course. I like forget that we have an age difference. Same. And then like we'll have conversations and she's like, I actually dealt with that like two years ago. And I'm like, oh my God, like this is so cool. Ah. Yeah, selfishly for me, I'm like, oh yeah. my gosh, I'm like learning things. No, you're, so, um, as soon as you said that, I was like, what are you talking about age difference? No, I'm like, oh, I forget know. our age difference. It's like, that's weird. It's that's whatever. weird. But the truth. Okay, yeah. differences, differences. Um, Differences, well, um, I'm trying, I'm like, about the plan, you're good. Organized chaos. Yeah. That's what I was about to say. I'm like, that's the most, I'm like, you're organized, you're a planner. I was that bitch. Actually, more... Cass was like this too, but on the Miami yes. trip, me and Cass are very like, okay guys, reservation. And Kelly's like, just buy more minutes, buy more Oh my minutes. God, I'm late. I'm actually, this is what's annoying. You were I'm, early today though, by no, the way. No, I'm not a late person. I just, don't, like, I really am not. Like, no, for I clients, wouldn't. I would never no, be late. No, you're it's so. Like, I'm prompt, but I'm like, I don't like a lot of plans. Cause that's where I just don't do well. Cause this yeah. just happened. No, yeah. And y'all are happen. like by the books, like 8 45 a.m. We're walking out the door, and I'm like, oh, unfortunately, <laughs> that's not working. <laughs> Girl, no, but you're so intentional. Like, the reason you're late is because you're like, like, see, I'll be early or like on time, and like, I'm not obsessed with how I look, whereas you like. <laughs> You're like, you try on five different options and you end up <laughs> loving your outfit and that's why you're late. <laughs> what a skill. <laughs> so this is like one particular situation, but I feel like you're very intent. Like if you're late to something, it's because you were having a very meaningful like conversation with the first person or with, no, no, or with was, getting ready. I was having a meaningful conversation with myself getting ready. <laughs> no, you always look so fired. I'm like, if I was just five minutes late, like, maybe I would have like- Shut it up. Actually, that's like the worst ex like example ever. No, I'm dying. It's not wrong. It's not wrong. But like, even like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think now. Like you're just a very intent person. Like you, if you, like, if you don't text me back, I know it's because you're like having a conversation with someone else because of the do not disturb and because you're very, <laughs> in the moment whereas yeah. i unfortunately like i'm always thinking about the future and i'm like oh my gosh no, like we have to do this quality. but we together oh, have a great are. sandwich and a great sandwich a happy medium if you will and yeah. it balances it out that's and that's our biggest difference i can think of same i also think too like we both have mutual respect for each other's things yeah. like i'm like i love this she's a planner i'm like yes like i respect that so much so and i feel like you're like I love that you're oh, I, taking around. Yeah, I it it it's, it's fine. So it works. It keeps me young. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. Oh yeah, more questions, more questions. Wait, what are other differences? Um I was trying to think of something. It's not music, but we do have a difference and it's like a polarizing thing. Oh, I'm well, a voice note person. You I, are too. Yeah, I am too. Yeah, you are too. Like, What's another thing that maybe Cass and I Cass is not a voice note person. She's like enough. Oh my god, I love a voice note. Me too. Um, but it's our song. Okay. How long do you and Danielle see yourselves in the city? Oh my god, I was like, where is this question going? <laughs> see yourself together. Yeah, right? see yourself dating. What's, um I, do you have an answer you tell people? No. I'm always like when I'm ready to go. I'm like I still feel like I just moved here. No, literally. I'm like on vacation. Yeah, I also think too, like you and I both are people that when we get signs we really like sit on them and like yeah. and like, like I'm like I know my body will be like all right time for something new but I I just don't feel like that right now I feel like I'm trying to get my feet 
on the ground still here. Yeah, I feel like I'm still moving. Same. Like, I'm like, this is exhausting. <laughs> yeah, wait, no, no. So, I don't know. But I don't, I do, I have had clarity of like, I do not see myself raising kids here. No, no. Did you think that for a minute? I, I, th I think I've thought like, if you were a billionaire, I think it's easier to live in the city. Um, for sure. And But like, even that, like I, I was getting coffee the other day and, or this morning actually, I was getting a juice and there was a woman sitting inside with a baby and she had rolled the stroller into this bodega and was having a juice. And oh I was God. like, catch me never. No. Like, w like I just don't so think I impressive. could do it. It's so impressive and it looks so hard. Especially when it's like, cold outside and you have to like- Oh my God, like- It's like a baby baby. Yes, like you see the, exactly. the shields over them. They have the beanies and the scarves. And I'm like, it's exhausting enough to get myself through the cold. Imagine yeah. having it. I don't know. I had no. mad respect, but I was like, I don't think I want to do that. I want to be in a sunny place. But in terms of future, where do you see yourself? Maybe Tampa? Maybe Tampa. I always say I'd like to go to like one more city before Tampa. Like a. You, I know your opinions on Dallas because you're an Austin, Houston girly, but mm -hmm. I like love the idea of a Dallas or maybe an Austin, I like something like Dallas. that. Um, or, um, well, I'm moving to Paris, so oh. Paris is my next destination. Wait, for real? After yeah. you're like, I'm doing it. I went it. to. Landon would too. Oh my work. god. I could see Landon like thriving in Europe. Landon's well, he my knows, boyfriend. He, obviously. <laughs> he uh, knows French because of. Oh, was the way he so jealous while you were there then? Yeah, he really loves Paris. But at one point in time, his company, I'm trying to find this powder. But, oh, at one point in time, his company was like, do you want to help with like a Paris territory? They're like opening in Paris. Oh. And he kind of like floated around the idea. And were you dating at the time? Yeah, yeah. This was like last year, but we had just moved to New York. And oh yeah, that's like. Not that he was like gonna get the job offer. Like I think it was just an idea, but yeah. I definitely know he's like kind of down. And because Nicola's from London. Oh, my brother's right. Girlfriend. There's Europe ties. And I'm like, I genuinely, like where I end up just has to be close to my family. Like, Yeah, not, I feel the so. same. We'll see. Wow. I Would you eventually live in Texas? Or you mean like raise a family in Paris? No, but I could see myself moving there as like that one more city. And then okay, I just yeah. want to be my parents when I have kids. I know, like they can help. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's like, why I'm attracted to that idea. Me too. Which I feel like you want to be by yours too, right? Yeah. Like, I didn't realize. Like, I always thought I was close with my family, but I think I am. Oh, this is a new thing I got. Um, oh. Makeup. So, the whole white eyeliner thing is a thing. Yeah. But I thought it looked really intense on me. Yep. So, I got a, like, beige yeah, color. Yeah, that's very smart. It's like flesh tone. Makeup Forever Boundless Bisque. I haven't put it on myself. That, I feel like, is the more, like, safe route that suits... Like, that's a good tip for, like, everyone's skin tone cannot take a white eyeliner. I know it's about the eyes, but also I think finding a color that's similar to your skin tone, yeah. and like, in between the whiteness of your eyes and your skin tone, that's what's gonna be the most complimentary in the waterline. Yeah, I just think it will. Because it's a little too much on the side. Um, but Ooh, yeah, so though, sometimes when I see people with the white, I'm like, whoa. It's like, too much. <laughs> it's a lot. It's too much. Uh, um, I have more questions. People, for Danny, are you going to move to Tampa after your senior year in New York? Oh, that's good. Wow, well, <laughs> you she's say a that? Follower. Um, in your yeah. The, well, Ryan said it one time. He was like, "So this is our freshman year of New York last year. We, you know, like when you like right yeah. now, we're both in our sophomore year of New York, which I, I think is a fun way to think about dying. it. Um, but and so he was like, and then maybe like our junior year, we'd move in together. Okay. Um, but I don't think. I mean. That would be this fall, and I do not want to move again for a second. I know you feel the same, Kelly. Yeah. Um, Wait, would he move in here? Slash, do you talk about that on here? Is that a um, I, we, I think I think about it sometimes. I'm like, oh, that would be easy. However, he, we would want to like, like, mm -hmm. yeah, I have that room, but like, if he was taking calls, like, and there's a ton of clothes and shoes behind him. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, yeah. I mean, it's not bad, but. We would ideally you'd want like a true two bedroom. Yeah, like a true two bedroom. But now I'm like, would I want a three bedroom? Because I'm used to this closet room now. I mean, you probably would. But that's so and much money in this yeah, city. Yeah, but the longer you wait, the more you can like afford. You know. That's also what I'm thinking. So I'm like, let's just both make more money in yeah. the next year, save up, and you know, whatever. We haven't really discussed it, but I think we're both kind of like, yeah, I don't really want to move again. And he just is roommates too. with my bestie from high school, so it's great. You're gonna stay in your apartment, right? 
Um, I haven't decided yet. I mean, I really oh don't. Tea. I mean, I haven't thought about it. Like once again, I feel like I just signed a lease. Like, yeah, I know. You know we both went through that at the same time. It's probably that same feeling that people feel when they get married and people are like, so when are the kids? Like the day after yeah. the wedding. Like, like, huh? I feel like in New York when you, I'm mean, just anywhere, when talk. you sign one year leases, you're like, ah, and then it's like, what are you doing next year? No, I and you're like, did you have to do that in college? You had to like pick your housing for the next year. I don't, wait, like, er, really early? Yeah. I don't think so, did you? Yes, the apartment buildings would, like, fill up so fast. No way. Yep. I don't remember it being survival of the fittest, but I do remember, like, people were, like, grandfathered into certain apartments, like... Pass downs and stuff Yes, like from, like, yeah. sorority stuff. Like, they'd be like, yes. oh, the younger girls are going there, and you're like, well, darn. I know, yeah, it's like, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I never lived in a house during college, actually, fun fact. In the in your sorority house? Not my sorority house, and just not ever in a house. Like that, it was a thing to live in sorority house sophomore year. Yes, ours was junior. Oh, okay, and then like Wait, houses. Sophomore, sorry. Oh my god, are you putting on freckles? That's yeah. fun. Wait, junior or sophomore? No, ours was junior year too. Is that what you said, junior? Sophomore. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm on crack. But um, what about? Did you live in apartments otherwise? Yeah, we lived in apartments, and then junior I year, a college in... apartment. Yeah, it was. God, it was so fun. Did your apartment do like community, like Chick-fil-A in the lobby today? Or... I don't <laughs> Maybe. know that. We did have a study room. I remember remembering like a study room downstairs, yeah. which was kind of fun, but uh, no, I don't think we got nice old Chick-fil-A in the lobby. I would have done dirty things to get that in oh, the lobby. Oh yeah, we'd wake up early to like get them. I mean, they'd run out after a while, but I still follow my college apartment building on Of Instagram. course you do. I'm so nostalgic. <laughs> That's one. I can't like let things go. Like Georgia no. Heights and Athens, Georgia. I love you guys. <laughs> I, I feel like though I forget once again because we forget the age thing, but I'm like, I forget you're only out a year and a half of college. About to be two years. About today. to be two years. No, I know. Because I guess I'm out mm -hmm. like four. Wait, I graduated in 17. Oh my god, that's when I started college. Wait, 19. Wait. Are we four years apart? How old are you? I'm 24. Turning 25 in September. I'm turning 28. We're four we years apart. I always thought we were three. Holy. Me too. I thought we were two. Oh. See, that's age Wait, doesn't matter. Wait, what? Yeah, I graduated in 17. Or maybe 19. I honestly can't remember. But anyways. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, someone said for Danny, are you planning any wellness collabs merch product drops soon? <laughs> Love you. Um, short answer is no. Um, I actually try. I'll say this. I tried to start a ginger shop brand. I mean, I didn't really do you much. Didn't, you never told me that. Well, because it didn't. I basically talked to my manager about it, and I had I had a name. I um, had everything, and it's not to say it won't ever happen. But basically, after talking to her. There's a lot of liability that goes into With, like food and yeah. beverage. And the last thing I want or need is someone like getting food poisoning from like my ginger shots or something. Because I just basically have specific ingredients I like in my ginger shots. And I thought it would be really cool to create this like online subscription where you get them every month. I know. Right? Yeah. But also, like, it I just like scared me to like. I'm already. I'm not mascara. I'm kind of almost. Yeah, yeah, no, same. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised though, just only because it. I feel like a ginger shot is so straight. Like, it's like how crazy yeah. can you get? But I, I get what you're saying. Obviously, food is just way different. Food and Yeah, beverage. it just made me nervous. And I was like, you know, I, you know, whatever. But I, w something I would love to do, and I'll say it on the internet because maybe someone out there is connected or this is me manifesting into, Manifest that shit. into the world. But um, I would love to do like a ginger shot at like, like I build a shot with like a press juice oh or yes. something like that where you can like go and order the, I don't know, whatever we call it, the ginger shot that I create with them or like some sort of wellness shot. I feel like you could do that so easy. And then it's like with a big company so it's reliable. Um, so that's that's my recent idea as of literally yesterday actually. <laughs> juice press, where are you at? I know. Oh, you were a big juice press girl, right? I don't know what saying? I, I go to any juice place. I oh, like, well, yeah, yeah. I like bodega juice. Oh, bodega juice is bodega so good. Juice. Yeah, it's cool. I love bodegas. I was thinking about it. Why don't other cities have bodegas? It's the smartest thing in all of the land. They're the best. Like you just walk in. Like I literally went today and got like a spinach wrap. I was like, this mm. is so great. Or you could get fresh juice. They juice it right in front yes. of you. Like no, it's so fresh. That's why I'm like, wait, this is so good. And typically it's not that yeah. expensive. Yeah. Um. Well, I hope that your juice thing happens because I feel like that would be so on brand for you, and it needs to happen. 
This is a really good one for you. What? Need to quit my job to do my dream do job this week. Wait, Whoa. Need, to, need to quit my job to go do my dream job this week. Advice. It's a corporate <gasps> company and I feel so guilty leaving. Oh, oh my God. God, no. That is, that guilt is so real and it's hysterical if you think about it because like, yeah, like business, guilt? no, business is business. Yeah. Nothing about your job is personal. You're getting paid. Like people used to tell me that <laughs> all the time if you think about it. It's so... There is nothing more transactional in your life than your job that you have. And so it's like, honestly too, if you're worried about, it's all about how you handle it. Like obviously leave with class, give the right amount of time. Like if you have to give a two week notice, like offer to potentially train someone who's like taking into your role. Of course there's situations where it's a toxic work environment and you need to get out and like, if that's the case, obviously do what's best for you. But like anyone who respects you in the work that you're currently in will not only support you, but encourage you to do something that's gonna further your career mm. in another direction. And if someone like makes it personal and has bad blood with you because you left a job to pursue something that could accelerate your career, then that person it should not be in your life. No, like, totally agree. Also the second you, t I remember like, Sorry, I'm saying like so much. I remember building this idea up in my head, the conversation I had to have with my boss at the time and just being like, it's gonna be so terrible, I'm so nervous. And it ended up being maybe 10 minutes and him being like, all right, good luck. And you're like, oh. <laughs> and oh, I but, up. but that's when you realize it's like, your boss is just worried about, okay, who am I hiring next? Who am I training? Like yeah. you are, it's, it's business and take the guilt aside because I'm assuming a woman also asked this question. I'm sorry, no man feels guilty leaving a job, period. It's so true. And like, I mean, I know certain positions, it's like, oh my gosh, they definitely really need you. But at the end of the day, like they're gonna find someone else who wants a job. Also, and that's what notices are for. Like if you give them the appropriate notice, it's like you're helping them fill the role. So there's nothing oh, yeah, to feel true. guilty about. That's also true. Yeah, Kelly, if you guys don't know, she quit um, Oracle. Uh-huh. Um, which Brooke also did to do yes. something that she really loves, which I think is so crazy. You guys have so much in common. <gasps> Kelly, your phone's buzzing. Well, it's because it's open. See this one? Uh, <laughs> oh, what's an overhyped slash overrated makeup product? I mean, Ooh. Kelly could answer that better than I could. I was about to say, you go first. That's hard. Um, I feel like there's certain overhyped. mascaras that people really hype up and I'm like, yeah, just drugstore. Yeah, I'm obsessed with the L'Oreal Telescopic. Like I. Me too. Wait, the really? It's, I love the wand on it. It's, it's just so good. Bad and black brown. I'm like, yes. Yes. Um, I, I can't think of another one. There's too many products. Like too many in the world, and I feel like everyone has different needs. Yeah. Oh my God! Someone even said, I feel like you both bonded because you're both down to earth. Mm. That's really nice. How do you make That's deep connections? Nice. I mean, I feel like just being real instead of like being vulnerable. Yeah, you have to like literally the first time Kelly and I met, we like went to breakfast and a sober activity. So yeah, Kelly thought it was the funniest thing that I asked her to go to breakfast. No, I just thought it was nice. No, it was no, yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I feel like right away I told her about my like health anxiety and like I really laid a lot on her. She told me a lot too, like right away. Yeah. And so I feel like immediately it's like, oh, we trust each other and yes. we feel comfortable and you should. And oh, she wasn't weirded out by everything I said. Like she accepted it, so. I think I once heard that like the level of friendship can only go as deep as what both people disclose. Yeah. Like the level that you disclose. And like people, you don't feel close if like one, if one, if I looked at you and I was like, I'm really struggling with this, whatever. Like not saying you have to match it with the struggle, but if you never open up on that level, I feel like, I feel like it'd be a one-sided friendship. Yeah. Like you'd be like, oh, we can't really go that deep because it's, yeah, because you're not you giving have to me have, anything. Yes, like I feel like it's kind of a, that's how you build trust exactly like mm -hmm. you said. I and feel like, yeah, like if you, you know, a lot of times, especially like with your relationships, you don't always want to like tell your friends everything. Yeah. Like I don't want them to judge me, whatever. But um, we tell each other yeah. everything. And it's <laughs> Ryan and like, Landon. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. Sorry. And it's like, but it's because of, that's such a good point. It's because of that give and take. Like yeah. as soon as Kelly gave me like a little bit, about her and Landon, I was like, okay, I'll, like. I'll give her a little, and then it's just kind of like a little, and then it's like, wait, oh my gosh, I have been experiencing that too, or like, they're great guys, but like, yeah. you know, just like little shit stuff or, that you need to talk about. Yes, or even just, did someone ask how do you foster meaning, is that, is that yeah, like how do you make deep connections? Like, 
I'm realizing that a lot of people don't follow up and don't follow through. And that's yeah. something like, for instance, that's so true. I have met so many people just through in the industry and just through like all these events and stuff that we go to and you think you bond at the event and you're like, oh my God, let's get drinks sometimes. And then you never hear from them again. Like the fact that you asked me to breakfast, I feel like was an immediate like, oh, I care to make a connection with you. So also if you're making new friends, like you have to like show up. You have to be yeah. responsive. Like you can't just cancel on plans. It's like, it's literally first impressions all over again. Well, and, and just, I mean, yeah, I asked you, but then you sending me that audio message after being like, wait, I'm actually obsessed with you. Or maybe I, I don't really know, but when we were- Oh, we, after we ended breakfast, yes. we both, uh, it that's was when you knew a, it was a good match. I was like, thank God. No, I left walking and I was like, I loved her so much. And you left, and I think we texted each other the exact same time. We're like, love you so much. Yeah. Like, you were so <laughs> And that cheesy. doesn't always happen, by the no. way. Like, we got really lucky. And yeah. it was a really, I literally had this, like, warm and fuzzy feeling. I made a friend in New York. Like, it was so, it, but it's cool because we both, like, do the same thing. Yes. So that was really comforting Such also. A but I just remember being so happy. And then, like, for her to say the same thing. And yeah. it doesn't always happen because like Kelly said, there's times where you're like out with people and it's like, yeah, we should definitely do this. And then I'm like so excited. I'm like, dude, when are they gonna text me? And that's something yeah. I learned too. Like if like- Also, also though, just piggybacking off of that, like I feel like you make better connections when you just honestly say how you feel. Yeah. And even in the sense of like, I feel like you and I are always texting each other like, I'm so proud of you, I love you so much. Like, if you love someone, just tell them. Tell them. If you like- Affirm them. Yes, if you look up to someone, if someone did something that inspired you, like, I feel like I try to challenge myself to, when I have an internal thought of like, oh, that girl's doing something that's really cool, like, I really respect that, like, not just thinking it, and like, sending them a voice note. Like, I'll send someone who I haven't talked to in months a voice note and just be like, I see you, like, doing something, I think this is really cool, it inspired me today, and like, not saying I'm, carrying like doing great things over here in the world but i just think if everyone did shit like that yeah. like we'd all be like wow i feel appreciated and like you know i really so I like that tell, encouraging each other in those ways oh, we too. reply to every story of each <laughs> other's i'm like oh my god crying crying, crying. again <laughs> Today, I, was like, I was like, oh, I said crying, but I really am crying again. This is so sweet. Um, but it's just yes. like nice, and I think that's, you know, everyone shows their love differently. But yeah, it, that's maybe something we both we're both big words of affirmation people. Like we both like, I don't know, like we, we don't talk all day every day, but like when we do, it's like, oh my god, I feel so loved, and I think yeah. that's really lovely. So it's just if you really love someone or like love being so tell them and like make yeah. sure they know that because you could like lose friendships over it yeah which is sad I especially realized, being grown up i actually just realized i haven't looked in this camera one time oh my I god i looked wow. in the monitor the entire time and i know that's like number one oh i was like i have no i've never gotten comments about it it's so I hard know. not to and it's like right above it's fine i know but like no no Thanks for coming on the Chan. Thanks for having me. The Chan. The I've Chan. never called the channel Chan. The Chan. Um, I'll have all of Kelly's info down below for you guys to check her out. If you don't know already, you know a lot about her tonight, today, now. I can't today, speak. Today, now, kid. Okay. I was going to say today and now, and then, you know. You're such like, a good YouTuber, though. I was just watching you in the mirror, and I was like, proud. <laughs> Subscribe down below. Subscribe. If you guys are new here. And, um, yeah, follow both of us on Instagram, at MakeupXKA, at Danielle Carolyn, to see more of our everyday life. Kelly basically vlogs on her Instagram stories. That's why that I love true. following. Like I, that's why but I always want to do that. But then I'm like also vlogging, and it's. I was trying to Julia Havens about that this weekend. It's like how do you balance no, what? I have no idea how you segment out your content, and I content content. content. I have so much respect because I don't think that would be like you have to live two lives. And it's yeah, like, no, it's tough. Yeah, so I, if you want like daily vlogs on Instagram, you should definitely go follow her. And yeah, thanks again for coming on. Buddy. Thank you for coming. Love you. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Just get a squeeze. Squeeze. Bye. Bye.